uh, virtually all Nigeria political parties are in deep crisis. This time is the All Progressives Congress. Help us unpack what looks like a coup d'etat in the APC. The governors are powerful uh, to the point that they almost always have their way. It is what they want that the president invariably does. Now, within the governors, the politics of 2023 has split them into two or more camps. And the contestation for power is what has brought the APC to this sorry state. The APC has not been able to organize a convention because within the uh, family of governors, there are those who believe that May Malabune should continue as Kiateka, uh, chairman of the party. They believe that at this time, the party does not need to make a change. Such governors are much more comfortable working with him than um, uh, someone else. So they want him to be the person in charge at the time of their primaries. And clearly the leadership of the caretaker committee had been playing uh, to the script of some of these governors because all efforts to make them organize a convention has fallen on deaf ears. I have said in the past that the February 26th date, uh, the, the, the convention that was set uh, that the party claimed it to hold in, in February would not hold. That was what eventually happened. The party then said that on the day that they were supposed to have the convention, they were going to have the um, Zona Congress of the party. Now, Zona Congress is not known to the constitution of the APC. Zona Congress was made popular by the PDP. So it is their tradition to hold Zona Congresses. For the APC, it had never happened. But the Kiatika Committee announced that on the day that they told the world that they were going to have a um, convention that in its place is the Zona Congress that will happen. Of course, many people uh, could not understand why this had to happen. So as we have seen, the caretaker chairman, Mema Labuni, traveled to the UAE and what looked like a coup took place in his absence. The most senior governor on the caretaker uh, committee, the only two-term governor on that committee, the governor of Niger State, took over power. Naturally, whenever Mem Malabuni was traveling, he would uh, notify uh, Governor Bello so that he could act in this place. But in this case, there was no official transfer of power between Mem Malabuni and uh, Governor Bello. And Governor Bello himself came out despite some of the publications in the Nigerian newspapers that there was indeed. Um, a transfer of power. Governor Bello came out that he never saw any letter transferring power to him. So uh, this appeared just like um, something contrived by some individuals to make it look like um, the governor of Yobe State was not um, kicked out of power by the majority of his colleagues. But what we have had, Governor Erufai and uh, the governor of Ondo State, Akere Dolu, say, clearly points to the crisis within the governor's forum, the, pro uh, the progressive governor's forum itself. Because you will see governor of Cardinal State saying clearly that they got the permission of the president 
to remove May Malabuni. And that if May Malabuni returns from uh, his medical emergency, he will not be allowed to return uh, to that position. Now, what will make one to believe that indeed Erufai was saying the truth was the fact that Governor Bello tried to uh, did a letter to INEC notifying INEC of uh, of the party's plan to hold an emergency neck. And then you read all, all the uh, reactions of INEC to that. that no, only the chairman, which is May Malabuni, or the secretary, or and the secretary can indeed um, uh, sign such letters to officially invite INEC to his neck because the law says that INEC should be notified whenever they want to hold such meetings or even a convention and all that, the notice should be uh, 21 days. So what Governor Bello wanted to do was to get neck to sit, and at that meeting, the neck would then ratify him as the acting chairman of the party ahead of the convention. But there is now this sort of back and forth between the APC and the uh, and the uh, leadership of INEC because INEC does not recognize Belo as uh, as chairman of the party. It recognizes May Malabuni until it is officially notified that a change has taken place, and that change has. The neck of the party or the caretaker committee itself, because the caretaker committee yielded its powers to, I mean, the neck of the party yielded its powers to the caretaker committee. So the caretaker committee itself can also take that decision because they are carrying out the functions of the, the organs of the party, like the NWC and, uh, and, and the NEC, you know, in an extraordinary manner. So this is where we are. We can see. The governor of Zamfara State urging the uh, governors to stop abusing themselves and watching each other's dirty linens in public. Uh, this does not bode well for the party. The governors have been given so much power to run this party, and the way things are going now, they are about to use their own hands to destroy the party because there are all kinds of litigations. Even the convention itself, there are uh, court cases trying to stop the convention. So the fate of the party hangs in the balance and the the other convention itself, which is coming so close to the Ramadan fasting season, can indeed take place.